Creating an email broadcast. From your dashboard, go across to Email Broadcasts. Inside of the Email Broadcast menu, on the top left, you'll see that you can create a broadcast here. If you've already created email broadcasts, they will be shown as a list. Let's create our first broadcast. Click Create Broadcast, title that broadcast, and click Create. When creating an email broadcast, Zenla will take you through a series of steps. The first step is to select the recipients that will receive your email. Inside of recipients, you have the email title, you have the from name, and you have the from email address. Remember to change this to your business email address. Next we have recipients. So under recipients, we have an email list. If we click this, we can add all contacts. We can also use advanced filtering to filter specific people based on the criteria of that filter. To use advanced filters, hit advanced filter, add a filter group, and then choose your options by adding a filter. For instance, we can filter them by enrolled by course, enrolled via a pricing plan, not enrolled in a course, completed a course, not completed a course, subscribed to a funnel, not subscribed to a funnel, user tag contains, if you've tagged them, user tag does not contain, an email opened, based on emails that have been opened, emails not opened, email clicked, email not clicked, email bounced, email not bounced, not in the list, an email list, a country, an EU consent, registered in lives, not registered in lives, attended lives, not attended live classes, registered in webinars, not registered in webinars, attended a webinar or not attended a webinar. These filters are quite powerful and depending on which ones you pick give you different options. For instance, if I was to click enrolled in a course, you could then select that course which they are enrolled in. This will effectively only email the people that are enrolled in the course. You can, of course, pick any or all as well. If I wanted to only email the people in Marketing Made Easy, I would select this and click Save Changes. Let's delete this and just send an email to everybody in my list. I will click All Contacts and you'll see that the contact list selected list is 17. If you use the filtering, this list would go down based on the numbers that are in that filter. The last thing we have down here is whether you wish this to go out by SMTP or Zenla Mail. SMTP can be found in the integrations and if you have set this up, you'll have the option of using your own SMTP server. If you don't understand what an SMTP server is, please refer to the support documentation. As we have not selected our own SMTP, we only have the option of using Zenla's internal mail system, Zenla Mail. Go to the next step, which is to select a theme. Let's click Next. Now we can select a theme to use for our email. Zenla has lots of themes to choose from, and you also have the option to start from scratch here. You can replace colors and logos within all of these themes to make them suit your brand or identity. And we even have the option to stay on a classic editor as well, if you're used to using the classic editor. For this email, I'm going to use this one here, but you'll notice that if you hover over any of these, you can preview. This is a preview of this theme on how it looks. If you wish to go back to a theme, simply select back to theme. I'm going to select this one here by clicking and clicking next. 
Zenla will now create this theme that is fully customizable. Zenla uses its own WYSIWYG editor or editor using blocks within this page. For information on how to style this as you wish, please check out the email theme and the email designer support documentation. Once you have customized your theme, simply click next. If you wish to send a test email out to yourself, you can type in an email address here and simply click test send. Note, if there's any errors on the page, they will be indicated by an error message at the bottom. Let's call this test and click send test. Well, this email has now gone to my email inbox. I can also preview in the page how this mail looks as well. Please note some of these boxes will not display when they're shown, it's just in preview mode. To close this, click the X in the right hand corner. Once you're finished designing your email and adding personalization and your logo, you can click next. Now you'll have the final thing to either send it now by checking this box, schedule this to be sent out at a specific time and time zone, or save it as a template. If you save it as a draft template, you're able to duplicate it, meaning it will save you lots of work in the future to send more email broadcasts out. Please check out the support documentation on all aspects of email broadcasts inside of Zenla.